you know, in my work as well, when I was training is like, you know, a young man in, as a teenager or in his early 20s can ejaculate a lot. But as you hit, like you get into your mid 20s, you want to start regulating to the, the, the science behind it is a man under the age of 35 takes three days to recover from ejaculation over 35 takes eight days. And there's actually um, a Chinese study that, that, um, that track the uh, testosterone levels in, in men's blood after, before and after ejaculation. And they found that after an ejaculation, their testosterone levels plummeted. They stayed down, they stayed at like zero for the first three days. After three days, they started to rise. And then at the eighth day, they were back up to normal. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point for semen retention, as you call it, because you keep your testosterone levels high. Yes. And so uh, many people, I should say, when you start doing these exercises, feel very frustrated because they're used to go ejaculating or, or climaxing for women, right? But if you hover, you eventually get to a point where you feel empowered and energized and you look exactly. forward to these exercises as the high point of your day, energizing yourself. And for example, when I started to master these techniques after the first couple of years, I, I, my sleep went down from eight hours down to five because I huh? needed less sleep. Exactly. Right now I'm down to four, four hours a night is all I need. Right? That's Why? Amazing. Because I've done Tantra for 35 years. Right? That's amazing. And so you talk about some of the biochemical changes that occur in the body at these, at these peak states of orgasmic pleasure without going over the edge, but in those mm -hmm. hovering states. So aside from changing the cortisol to serotonin, what are some, uh, some of the other benefits of, of these extended orgasmic states? Well, there's a lot of biochemical changes which I could describe but won't mean much to most uh, lay people. Like, for example, uh, normal sperm produces, uh, uh, the, the prostate produces citrate, right? You know, the cit citric cycle in the cell, mm -hmm. right? And uh, high citric, citric, uh, citrate levels are normal in, in, in healthy sperm, right? Um, when you have cancer, for a reason that no one really understands, the citrate levels start to fall. Okay, mm -hmm. so by maintaining high levels of citrate, you may actually be immunizing yourself from cancer, you see. So there's another biochemical benefit. Wow. Wow. So, so that's, that benefit occurs from, from not ejaculating the semen. Not ejaculating, keeping the citrate levels really high in the prostate, yes. 